I'm going to show you how I take some LED backlight modules and light up the back of this. Now, I'm only starting out and I only did a pair of them, but I'm lighting them up so they'll look like that. This building right here is lit and you can see there's light shining on the instant buildings in the back right there. So, let's go. Hi, I'm Tom Kovicek, and I spent about two days working on this project right here to light up this one building and give a little bit of accent lighting back in that area right there. My original plan was to light up that back area like this, but since I went back there, I had a view block in here, so I had to cut out a little piece of that view block right there to get that effect on there. And I did, I redid this building a couple of years ago and I show oh, yeah. I put the silhouette of the crane in there. So once I light it up, you'll be able to see that there's a crane in there since it's a steel fabricating plant. So in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to put more of the LED panels back there hidden. So all you see is light up on the building like that and maybe some of the buildings I'll light up like this. So let's get going to see how I did that. I recently got these LED panels from Adafruit Industries. These are right here. And I'm going to use them. I'm going to play I'm going to play around with these little things right here. Mount them inside a foam board. I'm going to put a, a thinner backing on it. I'm going to cut through this and I'm going to put some uh, gel sheet over top of it just to try some accent lighting back in this area right here. Since it's hard to see which side of this is actually the usable side, one side has a honeycomb pattern on it. So I'm going to light this up and uh, it's kind of hard to see like that, but you really can't tell on it. But this is the honeycomb side on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this marker right here and mark the back side of it like that. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. This is the honeycomb side, so I'm going to mark that just to make sure that this is the back. And probably to get this even brighter, I'm going to, when I'm, before I'm finished with it, I'm just going to coat this whole side right here in the black so no, nothing bleeds out from the back and all you're going to see is the light coming from the front let me try this other camera over here to see if you can see it any better uh, it's hard to see anyway but uh, you get the idea okay i'm going to mount these approximately like this i'll cut a hole in this foam board so these will fit inside the foam board and i have another sheet of uh, cardstock black cardstock that I'll glue on the bottom and I'll probably cut this off maybe like about right there so I only have a, a rectangle about that big because I'm just going to use this as accent uh, behind some buildings in or in between a uh, couple of sets of buildings that lay it down on the street just to see how it looks with the uh, gel sheet up on top of it so let me cut this stuff out and see what we can do with it from there. There it is. Voila. I have the cutout for the LED panels and I have the backing for it. All I have to do is glue these two together and then I could put the LED panels inside and it's going to look something like that. I just glued the backing on the foam board. So here's what it looks like. I put these uh, blocks on there just to weigh it down so it doesn't warp. And uh, once that dries, uh, we'll start playing around with it, putting the uh, wiring into it and uh, putting the gel on it. So give it time. It'll get there. The glue is dry and I got these LEDs in there. They're in there loose right now, but I might put a dab of glue on the back of them. And I cut some of this yellow gel film and I'm going to put that over top of here. I'm going to cut it in half so it'll be like this. It's a little bit long though, but I have it the right width. But I'm going to stop it right about where the wire is or maybe put a little slot in there to come past up, you know, to the center so I could leave these wires hanging out like this and then I could I could work with it after that. And I'll just uh, put a dab of glue on the outside 
you know, to keep this on there. And I, I chose yellow. And because back in, uh, you know, late 40s, early 50s, you really didn't have white uh, street lights or any kind of white lights. They mostly had a yellow tint, tint to it. So that's the reason for the yellow gel on top of that. So I think it'll look pretty good once I get... Uh, get this cut hook the wires up to it uh, we'll take a look at it I'll set it uh, back in here between some of the buildings back there I have a track that runs back there so I gotta you know find a good place to put it I don't want it to to, to be overwhelming I just want to give it like a little bit of glow like there's some activity back there. I'm getting ready to solder the leads on here and you may see a little bit different because I had to add a light because I have to solder but I twisted the wires together and I'll be soldering that and I'll put gonna put a connector on there but uh, I used um, the clear gel tacky glue Aileen's on here last night and as you could see right here it didn't hold too good you could just uh, touch this barely and it will come loose see I just did it right there it comes loose so I'm gonna have to try to use some super glue on there or something else to try to get this to stay on there uh, otherwise it's it's you know it's gonna come off real easily so uh, I'll show you right here we're gonna get ready to solder it I'm not going to put you through the the torture of watching me solder this, but I'm going to. I, I twisted these wires together already, and what I'm going to do is uh, put a lead on each one of these, so I'll have a connector, and all I have to do is put a connector on it, and I'll put some. Uh, I have some heat shrink tubing here. I'm not sure how far I'll be able to go down on it. I might have to apply some of that liquid on there, liquid insulation, to uh, make sure that I don't short these out. Because on one side, we're okay with the uh, wires. But if you turn it around, you, you see my negative wires are cro my negative wire crosses over the positive wire or underneath the positive wire. So I'm going to have to uh, insulate that so it doesn't short out if we if uh, move the uh, connector on there like i said i'm not going to torture you to to watch me solder this i already put the tubing on the negative side but on the positive side i just wanted you to see i just uh, put the wire right up against uh, the leads on there and just soldered it all together like that now that i have the wires on there you see i put the connector on over here and i have it hooked up to my little power supply i'm just going to test it out to make sure it works now that i know it works i'll be able to put the uh, other insulation down here where the wires are still bare I applied this liquid tape to the leads that were close to the LED panels so they wouldn't short out. I had to take them outside because this stuff is very flammable. I also used a toothpick on it because this thing has a big brush and it, it, it uh, just goes all over the place. I found out something else about this. I got a little bit of it on the gel and it bubbled up the, the coating so be careful with it if you're going to use a, a, a gel sheet on there and use this here uh, I, I recommend using a toothpick you know just dab a toothpick in there and put it on the on the wires just to cut, make sure you don't short them out i had to do a lot of uh playing around back here to get the right position of the led panels you'll see what i mean now i pulled this out of here because originally i put a view block in there but I want to light up the back of it. You can see where I have the panel back there. I just have it sitting on the tracks right now. But what I did was I cut a little piece out of here so the light would bleed up in there so you would be able to see it through these windows and see the crane in there. So I'm going to have to mount, the, uh, mount this back in there and I'm going to put the uh, uh, LED panel up against the wall because right now I have it sitting on the track 
and so it's going to be facing this way and we'll see what that looks like i'll put everything back and here's it's dark back here without the light and it actually shines up on those building flats back there with this here we'll see what it looks like when i put this thing back there here's a closer view of what we did here and you can see the silhouette of the crane inside the steel fabricating building which is what I intended from the very beginning when I redid that building about two years ago. And over on the left of the building, you could see the light shining up on the instant buildings, the background buildings on there. That's basically the effect that I wanted. I'm going to continue in the next couple of weeks of putting more of the LED panels back there and maybe some inside the buildings or down on the floor of the building so the lights will shine up through the building i have all the um like in the uh, empty arms hotel over on the left i have uh, uh blinds in all the windows on there the other uh dpm kit uh, i'll have to put some window treatment in that one to make it look a little bit better in the next couple of weeks i'll be adding more accent lighting in the back there so keep an eye out for that so until the next time We'll see you.